everyone. Today we're going to take a look at this lock from Bobby Keys. This is the uh, second TSS lock he sent me to turn into a challenge lock. Uh, here's the first one right here. Um, this guy actually uh, was the last lock from Bobby Keys and I completely forgot about him because he fell off the top of my desk and I never really realized it. So uh, let's see if we can get into him tonight. Uh, the other one was all standards, so we might see the same thing with this one. Okay, I want to start out with my uh, Euro hook. I'm going to pin one stiff. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting that. Pin one went up and gave me a false set. Maybe Bobby did repin this one. I'm getting counter rotation on three. Okay, and I've still got a false set. I just moved up pin four and I got a little bit more false set and I'm getting a counter rotation on four now. Okay, I got four picked. A little counter rotation on five. Come on. Okay, five went up. Just gonna bounce on the pins on my way back forward. This doesn't feel like a stock lock. I can kind of rotation on two now. Okay, and I've lost my false set. What in the world is going on with this? This definitely ain't stock. Got kind of rotation on two again. And I want to actually switch to a deeper pick now that I got some of these picks off or pins off the floor here. I'm going to go all the way to the back and just check everybody for counter rotation. Looks like pin two is my counter rotation buddy here. There we go. Got them open off of pin two. zoom out and okay I can deal with that type of clip but I don't want to lock this back up I don't have a key for it Bobby if you did turn this into a challenge lock then uh, if this is your first challenge lock, I really appreciate it. Uh, but uh, I am having a little bit of difficulty with this clip. There we go. Now I should be able to grab it with my pliers. And pull it right out. Okay, just like the other one, it's got this weird cross pattern on the back, so I'm going to want to shim it to kind of bridge that gap. Okay. It's getting stuck on something. Okay, we got it though. Alright, let's see what we got in the key pins. Pin 1 is a standard. 2 is a standard. 3 is a standard. 4 is a standard. And 5 is a standard. We've got a stock plug. And I know I was feeling counter rotation. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it too, so... Let's see what we have up top. Maybe he did something to these pins. But not with pin one. Pin one was a standard. Hmm. This follower is fitting tight. 
And I just dumped pin two and a spring. Yeah, and there is a spool in pin two. So there's counter rotation. Maybe there were spools in this when he did it. I don't remember. Oh. My shim's getting in the way now. Forgot to take it out. Pin three is another spool. <laughs> I'm just blasting these pins right on out of here. Not aiming to. Another spool. And maybe another spool. Yep. All right. So maybe it is a stock lock. It just has spools in it. I was expecting uh, standards. Let's go ahead and look at this Bible here too. Nope, no modifications to the Bible. You can tell the top hasn't been taken off. Anyway guys, this was the last lock that I had from Bobby Keys. Bobby, I appreciate the locks. They uh, went a long way, and I've got a lot of locks to turn into challenge locks now. Um, so, I appreciate that a lot. Everyone else, stay safe, don't do anything illegal, and please, like and subscribe.